OpenAI has changed the content game forever. Sam Altman has announced Sora, OpenAI's text-to-video model that can create videos like these with simple prompts. This has got creators worried sick. Look at some of their reactions. With Sora, OpenAI has blurred the line between reality and AI fantasy, quite literally. Sora makes Hollywood-level videos out of thin air. But what makes Sora so different? And what all can it really do? Well, it has been trained on tons of videos and images of different duration, resolution and aspect ratios. It uses a transformer architecture operating on space-time patches. They say it's similar to tokens in LLMs. That made LLMs like GPT so good at understanding and producing great results. It can generate realistic, high-resolution videos from simple text prompts as it uses recaptioning technique from DALI 3, which helps it with highly descriptive prompts for these amazing results. Apart from this, the model can take an existing still image and generate a video from it in various dimensions, making the content suitable for any platform. It can also extend the created videos forward or backward in time. You can even edit these videos in Sora. Unlike current text-to-video models like Runway ML and Pika Labs, which resize, crop or trim videos to a standard size, Sora can extend videos up to one minute without compromising on framing and composition. Now you can think beyond five-second meme content because Sora can handle intricate instructions and build scenes like a professional. It can also connect two different videos by creating seamless transition between them. Look at these videos. Plus, it can also create extremely high quality images of different aspect ratios. The best part is Sora can generate videos with dynamic camera motion. That means as the camera shifts and rotates, people and scene elements move along with it. And that too in 3D. And it can create real world action like, look at this man eating a burger. The model understood and left a bite mark. Not just that, it can also stimulate video games. No doubt this is the best in class model for creating videos. But even this highly capable model has limitations. It does not always accurately understand basic interactions. For example, a glass shattering or someone eating food. I know like me, everyone is supremely excited to try this brilliant model. But here's the catch. It's not widely available yet. I think OpenAI is playing it smart. Truth is, the tech is so good, people could misuse it for everything from deep fakes to political propaganda, especially with election around the corner in places like India and the USA. They're building guardrails first to ensure this tool is not widely misused. Also, Sam Altman totally stole Google's thunder by announcing this right after Gemini 1.5 release. Honestly, I'm blown away by this. But this also gets me nervous knowing what it can do. How do you feel about this? Share this if you found it valuable. Subscribe to us for more insightful AI stuff.